Sunday, 20th of November. This is an update on the Kral Puncher Breaker uh, 2 2 air rifle with the walnut stock from Turkey. Um, unfortunately, I'm about to send it back to the suppliers. I've had an issue with it losing pressure from the chamber. I took it to the range on Tuesday night, took it out of its case, uh, stood it up on its bipod, cleaned the barrel before I went down to the range and did some shooting. Um, it was only then I realised that it had no pressure left inside it. It should have had pressure left inside it because I always leave it charged up. So I came home on Tuesday night, excuse the black and white photographs, these are going to be going with that product back in its box to the original suppliers. These are the photographs I'm going to be sending with them, if it focuses. That is Tuesday night. At half past ten, I came home and regassed it. And I put it to one side, went to work the following day, came home from work the following day at half past five to see what the pressure was like on it. And that's dropped down to that. So that is... The space of a day well not even a day is it from half past ten on the tuesday to half five on the wednesday so i filled out all the appropriate forms they're going back to just air guns um this is the bit that's going to break my heart not so much the taking of the silencer off i mean come on it's a lovely looking weapon accuracy I can't really fault the accuracy. He's hiding his thumb with the other one because I pulled that one. But yeah, um, I can't really fault the accuracy. Now the silencer has to come off on a regular basis anyway because that's how I store it in my gun safe. Um, I bought a gun safe for this to go into but I wanted something wide enough so that I could actually keep the telescopic sight on top. So I bought myself a takedown shotgun case, um, which it fits that rifle lovely in that configuration, just with the silencer removed. So I never have to take off my telescopic sight. Now this is absolute sacrilege what I'm about to do, but for me to get that back into its original packaging, that scope's got to come off, and I've zeroed that. And I was getting some lovely scores down at the rifle range, which I only use it. Whoops, nearly dropped the phone. I only use it once a week at the rifle range. Now, if that's not a use for an AA chip, I don't know what is. No, that's not my AA chip. I was never a member of AA. This belonged to a guy called Jonathan. It was in Narcotics Anonymous. I'm digressing here. And when I first hit my one year sober many years ago, he passed me over his chip as he thought that a one year one year sobriety was sort of like really important well thank you very much Jonathan um, a couple of years later he actually overdosed, relapsed, overdosed and died on my birthday random story but there you go but I still got his chip and I'm still sober seven years plus later anyway oh just to be unscrewing this you know when you've got it all set up lovely any shooter out there will know exactly what I mean you don't take off a scope unless you're putting a new one on come on oh my phone's just lost 15% battery at me lovely these are the jobs I'm doing on a Sunday it's loose it's off now this particular scope I've actually been really chuffed with I picked this up from Amazon Trying to do this all one handed because the other hand's holding the phone, obviously. It's a go on, focus 6 to 24 550. Let me just scoop it down a little bit to 16 as a train goes past outside my window. Is that going to let me? That's the platform down there. But yeah, I've been quite happy with that scope. That was um, less than 50 quid from Amazon. The rifle and the telescopic sight from Just Air Guns was, ooh, how much did I pay for that? Covering up my addresses, obviously. 
Um, go on, focus. That much. 570 quid. So it wasn't the most expensive of rifles, but after four months, I don't expect the pressure to have dropped. See that lot? I've still not regassed it because there's no point. But I left it at 200 bar. It's now dropped down to the yellow. So, yeah, it's dropped by 100 bar. Which, yes, yeah, so that's not right, that. But that's going to go back in its box. Oh, that, that was the scope that I purchased. 60 to 24 by 50. On a 20 mil, 20 mil mount, obviously. 624.50, that one. Yeah. But I'd recommend one of them from Amazon. That's quite a nice scope. But that is going to go back in its original packaging. With all the appropriate information. Um, I'm going to wrap that in loads of cardboard because I'm going to be sending that tomorrow. Parcel Force, 24, 48 hour recorded, signed for and insured delivery. I just want to make sure it gets there. And I want the same rifle back again. I desperately want the same, the exact same one again, just fixed and working. So, 633, G21HK. Two, what's that? I haven't got my glasses on. 2685, is that? That's my serial number. But that's going to get wrapped in X amount of extra cardboard. Sent back off. I'm just recording this for prosperity. Um, if anyone else has got a crawl puncher breaker out there, would you please note my trigger? Because that's the trigger that came on my crawl puncher breaker. Now, all the pictures I've seen. Of these air rifles have a different trigger to that but that's the one that mine came with from the suppliers and i really like that at first i thought it was a bit weird but you get used to what you're used to don't you right then wrapping will commence happy sunday everyone